Okay, so Mike's a huge jerk and he's been giving me, you know, a whole bunch of crap about planning and this stuff out. So we're gonna just wing it. Anyways, so here's the mount. We're gonna put on the CPU fan. Um, here's the mount for it. The screws or bolts or whatever Michael wants to call them have a flat side to them. This one's is right here. You can kind of see that the screw is a little bit uh, shaved down there. The flat part goes into the flat section of the mount here. Um, and for my LGA 1155 mount, we put it through the middle socket here. And so you'll see that the screw only goes through if you have the flat side down. So now that we have the motherboard stood up in its own little case again, we touch that, no static, um, and we'll just start putting it through. So don't knock your motherboard over because that would be embarrassing. And we'll start. So there's the flat side and that kind of puts that through. And again, oh, wrong side. Flat side in. Flat side there. Ooh, that's upside down. There we go. And lastly, flat side that way. Again, we're trying to be careful and not touch the CPU while you're doing all this. Keep all of our hand grease and all that nasty stuff off of there. So next we got a screwdriver and this little handy mount. Um, so how we stick the bolt and stick the nut in there. It seems. There we go. That's not going as planned. There it is. Nice and firm. Okay, that should go anywhere. Skip that. We'll feed them on by hand to start with. And again, don't knock over your motherboard because that would be sad. And you feel like an idiot on YouTube. It would really suck to look like and feel like one. It's always nice to have support from your friends. There we go. I want that to be pretty darn firm because this mounts the fan away from your motherboard so that the weight of it doesn't bend your motherboard. And again, on the back side, which I'm probably not seeing, I'm being careful to not touch my processor. All right, that's the bottom mount. Now that that's mounted on here, I'm gonna tip this down. This motherboard's uh, packaging case is really, really convenient because it allows you to have a kind of a safe place to work on your motherboard without a whole bunch of static and without it being on a hard surface right, like So the next step is to put on thermal paste now that we actually planned it a little bit, Mike. Um, what you want to do is to remember is that thermal paste is really nasty stuff. You don't want to get it on you or anything else. And you don't need a whole lot of it because you just need a th very, very thin film of it on all over your processor. So give it just a little bit of a squeeze here. Oh, shit. And that's probably more than enough. So that's nasty stuff. Let's cap this right away. Put it on top of another bag. And then the key here is, this is a little trick we found is that, um, what we've learned from other people is that use a little plastic bag over your finger to spread it out evenly, kind of all over your processor. That way again, so you're not using your finger 
and it would be nasty to get off your finger anyways. And again, if you use too much, it'll get everywhere. So I think... How's that looking, Mike? You think that's enough? Uh, I think you'll be alright, as long as you get it in all those corners. So again, the thermal base is important because it's the connection between your fan and your CPU. And if you don't have a really solid connection, what it does is it, even metal has little pockets in a different metal uh, between the fan and the CPU. So that way we have a really, really good, it's basically just liquid metal is what the, the paste is. That looks excellent, Craig. All right, so that ought to be real good. Pull this inside out. So again, it's nasty stuff, don't touch. Not because it's, well, I don't even know if it's poisonous or not, but it doesn't come off very easily. So we'll put that over here, throw that away later. Next, mounting fan. I'm gonna put my fan here. It's gonna blow this way, it's gonna blow air out. I wanna blow the air out the back of my uh, case because that's how all my other fans are set up. Remember to take off the plastic, otherwise it's really not going to work very well. And I'll stick that over here. So I'll move that out of the way. And X brace. I'm going to put this in here. Oh, last piece. Put your X brace on beforehand, otherwise it doesn't really. You can't. Usually there's not enough room to get it in afterwards, so I think that that was the right way. Yep, that's right. So, put that right there, centered over the processor. And what we did in the interim here, we braked it, um, we moved to these uh, screws to the outside, but you pull up on the screws and move them out, and that allows you to get the length that you need on there. Put that right back on there. Whoa. probably can't see from there that your the little X brace mounts into the center piece. There I just clicked it in. And make sure that that's in there beforehand. push pretty hard on that X brace to get it down in there. Bit. 
Sometimes they end up just a little bit crooked. This is the second one we've installed and it's not quite square, but as long as it's all the way over your processor, that's what counts. Let's see if this bigger one works better. So I'm kind of doing them all little bits at a time so that they end up kind of even. That way we're not getting off center at all. One thing with this type of fan is to make sure that um, you look at the dimensions of the fan and the dimensions of your uh, all of your other pieces. Some motherboards can be really, really tight. Um, with the heat sinks that they have around the processor. Some of the really heat synced uh, motherboards don't really allow for this fan to be mounted because they are, or the fan can only be mounted in a certain direction because they, uh, because of how large it is. So sometimes those heat sinks can get in the way. And we are okay, those are all on firm. Put my fan back on and I'm gonna think about this. My cord, I have a, a fan power down here. So I'm gonna keep my cord facing that direction. Just to keep um, my, uh, just keep the case nice and clean so I can keep the cord all um, tied up and not all over the place. Click, click in place, good to go.